Ja! Rastafero! Blessings of Homeless Family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akeem Pierre, if you're new, welcome to the vibes. Today we got a real special, special, special herb. Like honestly, I was just talking to the bro before filming this and I was like, I don't know if I could do this herb justice. We're probably gonna have to do part one, part two, and possibly a part three. This is such a potent herb with so many different benefits. And we're talking about gully root or animu. I got exposed to this herb a year and a half ago when I was out in St. Lucia harvesting it. And I heard stories about it like, oh, it's such a potent herb, it like helps remove mucus. And when you harvest it, like you're gonna start crying. They were not playing with me, y'all. This herb is such a potent mucus remover that when you harvest it, I was out there in St. Lucia harvesting it, digging out the root. I was tearing up, crying. The camera woman who was with us, she was tearing up. She couldn't even hold the camera. She, <laughs> you know what I mean? What was that? I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> There's no lie. We all here. It's the potent herbs. That's how potent this herb is. And that's just one of its benefits, the mucus removing properties. So these are a few pieces of gully root. It's like a really big root. It's a tap root. So this goes right into the earth, deep into the earth and spreads out and gets all the nutrients, all that high grade minerals directly from the earth. And when we're talking about gully root animal, we say a lot gully root, but we also utilize the leaves. So here's one of the packages that we have. This is the animal leaf and this is the animal root. And you know, really and truly, they both have the same effects, except the root is about five to 10 times more potent. And that's just because it goes directly into the earth, right into the earth's soil and extracts all that goodness. And as it goes up the bark, it loses some of its potency. So when I'm gonna be explaining the benefits, if you do have the ability, this is more expensive, if you do have the ability to get the root, then just know it's gonna be more potent. But if you want the benefits and this may be a little bit too expensive, don't feel any kind of way about using the leaf because the leaf also has those same properties and it's also very beneficial, y'all. So just wanted to share with y'all, but y'all, look how beautiful this is. This is so epic. Look at that. Wow, it's a lot of healing right there. So let's get into some of the benefits, the properties of gully root. First off, like I mentioned earlier on, is like one of the most potent mucus removers. Like when you harvest it, you're tearing up, you're sneezing, you're crying, you're like, <laughs> it feels like you're, you're, you're about to get sick. And that's because it's like creating, it's like removing the mucus from your body. So when you're sick, it's actually a response that your body creates to remove the excess in the mucus, right? So the gully root does that even before you take it. So when you make a tea with it, it has those same benefits, those same properties, except you're not gonna cry. So when you sip the tea, you're not gonna cry. But for me, when I sip it, immediately after, I feel just clear. I feel clear right after sipping that gully root. So that's one of the main properties that it has. Alongside that is the immune system benefits. It is a potent immune system herb. So when it comes to that, it's immune system building, it's high in sulfur, which is epic, great for the immune system. Plus it's antiviral, antibacterial. So it gets the antivirus. So this is like a, almost like a COVID quarantine tea where you sip on this and especially how right now we're in the fall season, you wanna build up your immune system. You don't wanna wait until you get sick to start to build up your immune system. So what you can do is you can start sipping on this tea now or last week, for those of you who have already had it, start sipping on that tea so you can build up your immune system, start building it up. So when any illness is around you, it's like your body is just fighting it off. It's ready, it's fighting it off. You know what I mean? So we gotta be in advance preparing. And Anamu is one of the most epic ways that we could utilize, uh, build up our immune system. And when you look at Dr. Sebi, bless, rest in peace, rest in power, Dr. Sebi, um, he had a video where he spoke about animal and its potent benefits having a lot of chlorophyll. So when you have the leaves, a lot of chlorophyll, a lot of goodness in the, in the leaves. So that's one of the things that Dr. Sebi spoke about. Man, there's so many benefits. It's great for lowering your blood sugar or regulating your blood sugar. 
and it's a super potent spiritual herb. And um, there's so many levels to this that I'm still learning. But when we talk about spiritual herb, you could burn this herb and it's gonna cleanse your space, kind of like sage. But this is even more powerful of a space clearing herb than it is than sage is. So when we look at it clears the space, right, in a spiritual level, when we look at it on the physical, actual tangible level, that's the antiviral and the antimicrobial benefits of the herb. So when we're talking about spiritual, it's not like it's like, oh, some invisible things. It's like the spiritual always has the physical representation. So we can see that when we're talking about clearing space. And when we're talking about sipping the tea, you know, you just had a, a, a bad breakup or you have someone in your life that you just can't get rid of. You sip on that tea and you, you clear your space and you know, you say your blessings and that's gonna help get the evil spirits away from you. And the physical manifestation of those evil spirits getting removed from you is the mucus removing. So when we're talking about that mucus, you're like, like coughing, like sick, like spitting it out, that's the spirit. So when you have that herb and you spit that mucus out, just know that it's not just the physical mucus that's leaving your body. It's that bad spirits, that bad energy that's clearing out too. So when we have a, a herb like this, you want to make sure you honor it when you sip it. You want to sit down and, you know, not just a, it's not just a herb where you, um, you know, you just sip it randomly. You use it with intention and that's going to be how it's going to be most effective for you. And y'all, it's so poet. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read a little bit of the, an excerpt from the herbal manual, which is from Honorable Priest Kailash, because there's so many different things that it's useful for. I just want to make sure I get it all out for you. So one is root teas and infusions are taken for flu, venereal disease, dysmenorrhea or um, painful periods, womb inflammation, or as an abortificant. So if you're pregnant, you do not want to sip gully root. That's one thing to really be aware of. And the root bath is also taken for heats. The root is very high in sulfur and crude extracts are antimicrobial. The root teas are an effective aphrodisiac and increases circulation. The leaves are often bathed with to remove spells. Laboratory investigations so show that compounds in gully root retards the growth of several strains of cancer and leukemia cells. It has also been verified to have immunostimulant properties. Y'all, what? And that's just like a little bit of the section that's here. Gully root is very effective in the release of headaches and is traditionally used as a remedy for arthritis, for my guy, and rheumatism, and have been validated by clinical research that confirms its pain relieving and anti-inflammatory effect. So this is a, a herb that has been heavily studied. It's a real powerful herb and it's rare. It's something that's very hard to find. So when you look around, you're not gonna be able to find too much of it, but we definitely do have it on our shop. And that's something that I'm so excited about because I wanted to get access to it and I couldn't find it. <laughs> Give thanks. I'm just, I'm just uh, burning my desires. <laughs> so I'm getting that, so I'm grateful for that. And now let's talk a little bit about how we can utilize the tea. So when we're utilizing the gully root tea, what we're gonna recommend to do is one, you could just boil it as a regular tea and that's a great way you could utilize it. But one of the ways to get the most potent effects of the root is to make a tea uh, make one liter of gully root tea in the evening and then let that sit in a glass jar overnight and overnight it's gonna cool down and when you wake up you have a, a liter of gully root that's gonna be your liquids for the day so you're gonna sip on that gully root throughout the day and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that for seven days straight so as we're talking about a spiritual herb you know this is messages and lessons that I'm learning from my lineage in St. Lucia, we utilize these herbs in seven day cycles. So when you begin to use it, use it for seven days straight. And after those seven days, you're gonna be able to feel those benefits. You're gonna be able to see the difference. For me, it's a lot of mental clarity. And that may be because it's removing all that negative vibes and that bad vibes for me. So make a tea in the evening, boil it. It's one of those teas, it's like a ginger, it's a root. So you boil it for seven days, 
and then, or you boil it overnight and let it sit over uh, overnight, and then you sip it in the morning throughout the whole day, and that's gonna help build up your system. That's gonna help, y'all, <laughs> it's epic, y'all. So y'all can give that a try. And when we're talking about the leaf, you boil that just like a regular tea. You make an infusion. So you boil the water, and then once the water is boiled, you take it off the water, and then you put a little pinch, a tablespoon or a teaspoon into the water and you let it sit for seven minutes and then you strain it and then you sip the water as a hot tea. And that's their leaves aren't as potent. And um, so you could drink it more as a hot tea, but the gully root itself, the root, you wanna let that sit overnight and sip it cool and do that seven days straight and build it up, make it a ritual. Do that every 21 days, seven days, then you do 14 days without, then you do seven days again. All right, let's start to build these herbs into our life as a ritual. You know what I mean? So that's one of the ways you could do it. You could also make a wine, a roots wine with it. And this is something that I haven't tried yet. I haven't done yet. So in a future video, I'm gonna share with y'all the, the results of it. But what you'll do is you'll boil, boil the gully root with ginger and you'll let it sit in a glass jar in a dark place for seven days with the roots and the actual pieces of the herbs in there. And after seven days, you remove the pieces and then you let it sit for another 14 days. So a total of 21 days and you let that sit and then you have a root swine, a roots tonic that you can sip on and that's gonna be a potent brew. So I'm gonna update y'all on how that goes because that's something that I'm definitely, definitely gonna be doing. And then with that, you can also add some molasses or some cane sugar, and it's gonna make it a little bit more potent, make it give it a little bit of flavor to it. So those are two of the ways that you could use gully root. And as I mentioned before, it's a real spiritual herb. So what you can do is you could boil the uh, a gallon of tea, and then you could use that to bathe, like wipe your body with it, cleanse the spirit, like cleanse all that bad vibes off you. Make sure it's not that hot, and you just wipe yourself with the water of the gully root. If you can use the root, if not, the leaves are gonna be perfect, all right? And then after that, what you can do with the leftover roots is you boil it again and use that water to clear your space and cleanse your space. Use it as a cleaning solution. Wipe your, wipe your top. You know how they're saying like, um, that everyone is sanitizing everywhere now. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Just get you some gully root water and cleanse your space. Right? It's antiviral, antimicrobial, all of that. So it's gonna be very helpful. Plus, you know that it also has the spiritual representation. It's gonna be cleansing all that bad vibes and the energy in your house. And we're gonna get deeper into the spiritual aspect of these herbs, y'all, because it's so much deeper than just the physical. They are living beings. You know what I mean? And it's a deep ancestral knowledge. If you look at the history of Anamu or Gully Root, you can see it has a history in Peru, in Latin America. It has a history in the Caribbean. It's a spiritual herb. And in St. Lucia, they call it Fe du Vent, which means leaf forward. Uh, and that is like the leaf that brings you forward. So you could utilize it to manifest, utilize it to bring those blessings and abundance into your life. It's, it's a potent herb, y'all. So that's the one way you could boil it. Uh, you could boil it, put it in the bath, and then you could also burn the leaves, burn the leaves or burn the roots. And um, with the roots, how you can burn it is just an over a coal. You just put some charcoal and you can put the root on top of that or make a little fire and you could do it in there. And the leaf, same thing, just put a little coal. Um, yeah, put a little coal and we'll put the leaves on top and burn it. And Honorable Priest Kayla said, do this before 6 a.m. Um, and that's gonna be your ritual. You know, at the, the early times when everyone is resting, you bring your manifestations out and you are manifesting that greatness and cleansing the spirits and preparing your, your physical, your spiritual, your emotional bodies for this day. Because y'all, we are, like we have such big things coming up in our lives and we all have a divine purpose and a divine mission. And we can utilize these herbs to our benefit and that's gonna help us get the most out of our days and get the most out of our lives. Because it's not just about getting money it's not just about you know getting a, a beautiful relationship it's like it's so much deeper I'm gonna get into that another video y'all I'll get into that another video um, but yeah so you can clear your space and then another this ancestral wisdom that I received is when you clear your space when you're sweeping your floor 
you go from north to south and you go from east to west. So when you're sweeping, you sweep from north to south and you're sweeping the spirits down to the south. When you're cleansing your space, starting the east of the room and then make your way towards the west. And that's gonna drive the spirits to the west. You know, so that's just a little bit of a uh, little bit more knowledge. Let me know if y'all are interested in a little bit more about that kind of information because to me, it's potent. I love that stuff. So I'm really grateful to have that connection to that lineage, that ancestral knowledge that I have in my roots. And I'm happy to be able to share that with y'all. Bless y'all. So that's the video for today. A lot of information in this one. Like take your time, listen to it, rewind it. Like just tap into this information y'all because this isn't a herb to just really just like listen to and just forget about. This is really such a potent herb. And y'all, a lot of information. So I'm grateful, give thanks y'all. We have this herb on our shop. So this is the gully root root. It comes in little pieces. So in the little pieces, it just makes it easier for y'all to use instead of like having these big uh, chunks. And then we also have the leaf here to utilize. So that's on our store. And you know what? I have something that may do a giveaway. Let me see. We're gonna do a giveaway for them. That's good. <laughs> Y'all, so we're gonna do a giveaway. This is, I actually just received this in the mail today. It was sitting at custom for like a month. But this is some gully root powder, and this is a sample gully root powder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna put the instructions in the description of how y'all could win this gully root powder, plus we're gonna give y'all the gully root as well. So y'all, this is epic. I don't, I've never tried this before personally. I just received this, but we're gonna do a giveaway. So y'all could tap in with that. Otherwise y'all look forward to a video of when I was out in St. Lucia harvesting this herb. It, one of my favorite videos of all time, one of my favorite experiences of all times. We're gonna release that video, it's a bit old. It's like a year and a half old, but this is the perfect time for y'all to see that. I'm so excited. We're also gonna have another video that maybe is more specific of how to utilize the herb while I'm in the kitchen, chefing it up for y'all. But this one, I, I wanted to share about how to prepare and like actually bring y'all to the kitchen, but you know, the spirit just came through me. And I just went off, so it's a pretty long video, y'all. But give thanks, y'all. Share this with anyone who you feel needs to hear it. And who anyone who wants to learn more about animal, gully root, fadu, vang, guinea, henweed. It's a potent one, y'all. And as we raise the awareness of the different healing methods that we have on this earth, we're just gonna become more powerful as beings and more powerful as a community. You know what I mean? So this is divine work that we're doing here. Y'all tuning in, me sharing, me learning, experiencing it. It's all divine, y'all. So I'm giving thanks. I'm grateful for y'all for tuning in. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Ja! Rastafero.